so you guys know what time it is it's time to dip these corals so what we have here are basically my tools that I use to dip I have a Rubbermaid um, container here a pretty shallow one and then after that I want I'll go ahead and have my first dip container this and then my third dip container these three are used when I dip my corals so overall when I received the corals they had these really nice foam inserts that they were kind of strapped to and they were strapped to these so that they can actually be uh, remain upright inside of the bags and stay submerged no matter what so here we have a couple of these corals that were still um, attached to the styrofoam so basically just go ahead and remove those and uh, in this what we're doing is getting them into this container using the, their own water that they came with and I'm doing this so that the corals go through as least amount of shock as possible they've already been temperature acclimated and I have probably about 45 minutes or so of dipping procedures in order to get them all set up now some of these corals that came in there is no way to tell what their actual colors are um, I'm looking at them some of them look purple some of them look brown obviously some of them look like they're gonna be green but I have no idea of telling what kind of corals um, they are or even what colors I'm gonna get out of them obviously I have some of the pictures to go by but that's not really saying much now I did get a couple of freebies in here which is a real nice touch I really appreciate that from ultra rainbow corals um, they look like three types of um, lepto or maybe even favia but I don't know what they are uh, so in my order I had right around eight SPS colonies uh, a ultra rainbow uh, welsophilia and also a blue scenario that had a green center I thought that was uh, pretty darn cool so here I am getting them in their container and I know that I'll be able to dip all of these corals together uh, because Coral Revive is a pretty simple, pretty gentle um, dip that you can use for all of these corals and uh, shouldn't be much warfare going on in, in, this, in this dip container. So here I am, I'm finished unba unboxing everything and now we're going to go ahead and start with getting some of that Coral Revive put into these boxes. Before the end of this, you guys will have seen that some of the free frags that I got, I just went ahead and remounted those to my choice of uh, two inch flat uh, discs. So by the end of this, you guys are gonna see those guys remounted. So here's the uh, Rainbow Wells Ophelia, and this was a coral that I've always longed for. It's one of the corals that I could never really bring myself to spend two or three hundred dollars on, but I got a really great price, 99 bucks uh, on Ultra Rainbow, and man, it looks amazing. Even in my regular old kitchen lights, warm white, you can already see the rainbow colors on that bad boy, and it is huge. I don't see any recession on anything so right about now I'm just gonna get a quick close-up on everything to uh, see how everything is doing I see a lot of growth tips I see a lot of you know um, little critters still running around in there so I know these guys are gonna come with a couple of hitchhikers probably nothing bad but at the same time I want to make sure that none of this stuff really makes it into my tank because I just don't know what it is and it's always a good idea for everyone to make sure that they dip their corals regardless of where you got it from because you can never trust where everything is coming about. So as you guys can see, I'm taking a little turkey baster, I'm basting some of the corals, seeing if I can go ahead and brush off some of those critters. But here I got my Coral Revive. Now, Coral Revive really goes about one cap um, for every two or three gallons. I always go a little bit on the, um, on the higher side of it. I use about two caps. Um, for my little container here, I know that this is safe for my corals. I've done this before, I don't know, 40, 50 times already when I got corals. So I'm not worried about that. So after dropping in that Coral Revive, I go ahead and mix it in really well. Um, and I'm going to let these guys soak here for right around 15 minutes. Um, throughout those 15 minutes, I'm going to keep blasting them with, uh, with my little turkey baster here. And what I'm trying to do is really, you know, knock off anything 
that is attached to them. Um, I'm going after things like acro crabs, um, gorilla crabs in some cases, even uh, bristle worms and vermitid snails that I know are very common hitchhikers on the corals. Um, now these guys look pretty healthy, they look pretty solid, so what I'm doing now is just agitating the water, keeping it moving around them, um, because in general guys, you want to make sure that you get your corals into moving water as soon as possible. Uh, I can't stress that enough, this is not the type of thing that once you get the box, you can just kind of leave them soaking in your sump until you get off work or something like that. You know, I'm doing this on my lunch hour right now, um, making sure that all of these corals get um, getting taken care of, get dipped, and get into my tank. So the next stage of this is actually to go ahead and get these guys dipped. Now a lot of people have different ways of doing this. My method of doing it is to use a two-stage dip. I do a two-stage dip because I want one where I can agitate the corals really well in and then another one where I can move them over to my tank. And this is basically what I do. I use my first larger container here to agitate them, dunk them a couple of times, and then add them to my smaller container that I'm going to use to transfer to my tank. And I do this for all the corals. And what you guys will see is that although I'm you know, dunking them in that first container, there's still a lot of stuff falling off of these guys. And you know, this just helps me minimize the amount of critters that actually make, it, make their way into my tank. Using this smaller bowl also enables me to kind of get them over there very easily. Now you guys can see some empty frag plugs in here as well as some of the crap that came off of the corals and throughout the different dipping stages you can see how that amount of stuff is being reduced. This is a really nasty little bristle worm that I found. I'm glad that guy didn't make it in there. So after dipping these guys, they go right into the tank first place I put them is right on the sand bed and I do this because I know for a fact these guys came out of a tank that was being lit by T5s and although I'm running my uh, LEDs at a lower level I still expect these guys to go through a period of transition um, and that transition can be them losing colors them not wanting to extend some polyps for a while but ultimately I know that they'll be okay because you know um, they're in a low light situation they're on my sand bed where they're getting you know the minimal amount of flow but enough flow so here's a tank after adding in all of those colonies down there on my sand bed um, everybody's looking good um, I'm not seeing any tissue from being removed I'm not seeing any uh, any of them stressing out too much they're just all closed up right now and what I'm trying to do here is just get an idea of what they'll look like under different types of lighting um, and they look amazing. I have no idea what the cut what these colors are going to eventually be but man oh man from what I'm seeing right now they look amazing especially this guy. I really hope he makes it and does really well in my tank. Uh, the rainbow well so started puffing up probably five minutes after getting added in there. So as, as I said before, I wanted to see what they look like under a couple of different lighting and I couldn't help myself by turning on my, my UV and ultraviolets, going all blues and taking a couple of videos uh, of them under the lights. Uh, these are typically the ones that a lot of folks will show off on Facebook and stuff like that. And I just wanted to see what they would look like from this preliminary stage. And they look amazing. All of my corals seem to be popping very well and you know things look really really good in the tank right now. I'm very pleased with how things have been going with my tank and I, I hope that it continues along this path. Um, these guys look amazing underneath the blues. Uh, switching off of the blues I went ahead to a mostly white spectrum. I kind of wanted to see what these guys would look like in mostly uh, white light and um, you know they look nice as well there um, I'm not seeing any crazy colors or anything like that obviously but for the most part just like the rest of my corals these guys look like they'll fit right in and although I'm gonna have to struggle and find places to put them all hey that's the life of being a reefer so here are a couple of quick shots of the corals. This is probably around an hour or so they've been in my tank and they've been underneath my normal reef lighting uh, on my sand bed for probably a close to about an hour right now. And so far, things are looking really good. 